Welcome back. In this video, we're going to tackle a very important question, and that is, why should we even go on short-term mission trips? Now, I know to some of you watching this, that may seem very obvious, because to some people, they've been on trips, they've answered this question. But I, think, I bet there's some of you watching this that maybe you're not really sure. The reality is there's lots of reasons to go on short-term mission trips. Some of those reasons are not so good. Some of them are absolutely fantastic. Some are not as gospel-centric as we would hope. Others certainly are. So we want to really answer the question, why should we even go on short-term mission trips? There are literally hundreds of thousands of people all around the globe every single year going on short-term trips. If you go on a short-term mission trip with the wrong motivation, there's a potential that it could hurt your team or the mission you're setting out to go on. Uh, the reality is we want to go on a trip and have the right mindset. Again, not having the right mindset could be potentially detrimental to your team in one way or another. Some people say they want to go on a short-term mission trip just because they want to have fun or they want to make memories, have a great experience. Now, I'm not against fun. I love having fun. I love having great experiences, and I certainly love making memories. The reality is having fun or making memories isn't really a, a good enough reason to go on a short-term mission trip. That ought not be the primary purpose for your trip. I remember having a conversation with someone not too long ago who told me the reason they wanted to go on a short-term mission trip was to check it off their bucket list. Now, I understand we all have bucket lists. We all have reasons to we want to do things. But again, that's not a good enough reason to go on a short-term mission trip. So why should we go on a short-term mission trip? Or, or what should be the motivation that inspires us uh, to sacrifice and put in all of the effort that it takes to put together a great short-term mission trip the number one reason why we get involved in missions, whether that's short-term or long-term, ultimately is to make disciples of all nations. Now, the word nations there, written in its original language, literally refers to a people group or an ethnic nation. It doesn't necessarily mean sovereign nation like Canada or England or South Africa. It's referring to a people group. In essence, Jesus is telling us, go to every single race, every ethnic group, every people group on planet Earth and make disciples. That's ultimately the reason why we do missions. If we do long-term missions, we're doing that hopefully in a way that is a long-term success and impact on the ground. And those of us who participate in short-term mission trips are going to serve those that live there to expand the ministry that they are doing. Ultimately, that's the greatest reason why we do short-term trips. Sometimes there are missionaries on the ground or local ministers that need help in some way or another. They're, they're, they are engaged in great ministry, and we go there to help expand their influence. You are not going on a short-term mission trip to do what you want to do. You're not the savior. You are not the hero. Sometimes those of us who live in the West, we go overseas, particularly to places maybe that lack resources or are impoverished in one way or another, and we think we're the fix-it. We're the hero. We show up with all of our bells and whistles and all of our Western way of doing things, and we think we have all the solutions to people's problems. The reality is that's not how we do short-term mission trips if we want to be effective. There are certainly things overseas that sometimes are difficult to accomplish. Sometimes there are missionaries or local workers on the ground that maybe don't have the ability, the wherewithal, or the resources to accomplish a particular task. So we can come in and we can help with that. But we have to remember that we are not the main characters of the story. We're a background character. We, we play a background role. And we go overseas to serve those that are living there and working there to help expand their influence, to expand their ministry. Also, it's important as we go in to recognize that we don't necessarily have not only the solutions, but we're not better than people just because we have more things. I think those of us who live in the West, particularly those of us who are American, sometimes we can be a little bit arrogant when we go on short-term mission trips. We go on short-term trips thinking we have all the solutions. We go on short-term trips thinking we can solve the problem because we have more stuff here in the United States. And quite frankly, it's a really arrogant way to head into a short-term mission trip. So if that's been you, I'd challenge you to really consider a different perspective. Maybe consider a different attitude or a different motivation as to why you're going on a short-term mission trip. Another great reason we go on short-term trips ultimately is to expand our own global perspective. I always challenge people to think of themselves not as citizens of a local country or a local region, but to think of themselves as global citizens. We are citizens not of a nation, but of planet Earth. Therefore, it's important that we view ourselves as a part of the human race collectively, as a whole. As we head into other countries or other cultures, and we view ourselves as 
global citizens or citizens of the entire world, of the human race, not just citizens of a particular nation or a particular ethnic group. It'll motivate us to learn from other people. So frequently when we go into another culture, if we think we know the answers and we have it all together, we will, it will probably be something that's an obstacle or will impede our abilities to learn from them. But if we see ourselves as equals with other people around the globe, if we see ourselves as global citizens, then we are more likely to walk into that culture and to learn from those people. And the reality is this. The United States does have a lot of resources. Those of us who live in the West, we have been blessed in a lot of ways. But I've been all over the world, and I've learned a lot from people that seemingly have a lot less than me. In fact, in certain areas of life, I've realized that there are people all around the world that probably know a lot more than we do in a lot of areas. And I want to challenge you to have the right attitude as you head into your short-term mission trip.